How's it going guys and welcome back to the Card Fathers. Today we have the disastrous product that was released, well, available for purchase back in late November and just got in today. People are starting to get them in today and there was 50 packs sold online of Bowman Draft First Edition and they did not come in a box. They came in an awful, well, they came in a box, literally just the, the packs in the box. So they could be very damaged. I've seen cards be opened and be very damaged. We've already opened about 50 packs, and this is the second 50 pack box. Each one of these packs is like $15. So if you were to buy 50, you're spending like $800. And um, it's not a great product, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I might pass on it next year, but I do love Bowman Draft. And you are chasing the parallels. There's usually one parallel in the pack. Normally it's a sky blue. Um, and I brought these three cards just to show you the difference. So this is normal Bowman draft. It would just, this is a chrome. And then these first edition ones, you can see like the only difference here is this stamp, first edition. So it's kind of similar, looks similar. And that's just a uh, first edition out of 25, his first Bowman. That we hit in the pack uh, matches really well, so I thought I'd bring it down. So we're gonna open 14 of them, I think. I think there's 14 here. So we'll open 14, and I'll let you be the judge yourself. Check out the damage, and I'll see if it's there. So the back card will be the parallel. So I'll try to hide that as much as possible, but when I'm opening them, I just try not to look. So in this one, we have a blue. Blue is out of 150. So we'll go through and we'll sleeve like all the first rounders, but you'll just see, you're looking for that first edition stamp. They'll all have them. And here's 28th overall, Carson Williams for Tampa Bay. So I'll make a pile of just like the base cards. If you're interested in these, hit me up on Twitter. I will definitely sell you some of them. CJ Abrams. Do you have like second year, third year guys in here too? And I'm pretty sure the color will be first Bowman. So you're going to get Jackson Merrill out of 150. He is round one, 27th overall. One pick before Carson Williams, this other guy. Do I have my sleeve? All right. Let me grab some top loaders though. So grab some top loaders. I thought I had them here for the video, but I must have forgotten them over on the left. So we'll sleeve and we'll add them to it if they're sleevable. And I'll sleeve the base ones after. We'll just focus on the color right now. So there's a first one out of 25, I mean out of 150. Blue, shiny, rainbow foil. Alrighty. So, what was that? Second, first pack, 150. Very tough pack. I might just try from the other side here. Like I said, I'm trying to hide the back, but this is also gonna be out of 150. Logan Henderson, Kyle Manzardo, DeCastro, Alec Thomas, Brennan Davis, McCade Brown, Spencer in the back there, Frank Mazzucato from my town over. He was drafted by the Kansas City Royals first round. He was seventh overall. I'm collecting him like crazy this year just because he's from Connecticut and he's the highest drafted ever from Connecticut. Beat out Carl Pavano. And then we have Calvin Ziegler, a pitcher. His first Bowman out of 150. These actually, compared to what I've seen people open, um, not that bad for, for damage-wise. Because I've seen like corners just completely crunched. I could show you like a Marcelo Mayer that we opened. It was just disastrous. 
But obviously we want like the big names, Marcelo Mayer, Henry Davis, Harry Ford, Sal Freelick. Uh, looking for those. We are nailing it with these out of 150s right now. This is another out of 150. Chase Petty, Hedbert Perez. Sorry, I was not in the camera frame there. Bryce Miller, West Cath, Lonnie White. He sells pretty well, put him to the side. And we're gonna have Bryce Miller again out of 150. You hear barking in the background, that is my dog. He is upstairs barking because I put him in the crate just to record this. So three packs in and we are up to 150, three 150s already. No sky blue yet, which is the most common. Our fourth pack is gonna be, that's the most common. And you see that? That's what I was talking about. Big ding. We got Noel V. Marte, Ben, Ronnie Mauricio, Jaden Hill, Julio Carreras, Keely Ramos, Tyler Mattinson, Wes Kath, Reed Tremble, and Angel Martinez is gonna be our sky blue, the most common parallel that it could be. All right, let's get some big first rounders or something, just their base at least. Blaze Jordan, Riley Green, N.D. Rodriguez, Frank Mazzucato again, Shane Pizzini, Panzini, Luciano, and there is no parallel in that pack. Not all of them do have parallels. How about this one? No parallel in this pack either. So two in a row. Cooper Kinney, Jordan Walker, Pedro Leon. Is he first round? No, he's second round. Cespedes, Dalen Lyle, Keely Ramos, Cantus, Kellington. See? So sometimes you have two packs in a row right there with no parallel or first round days. Can we go three packs in a row? We did. Three packs in a row without a parallel. They better give us a high first round. Let's get like a Henry Davis or something. I'm going to build this set though. So these cards won't be going to waste. But if I have duplicates, I'll sell them. Edwin Arroyo, Bobby Witt. Please do not be a fourth pack in a row. It is. Look at that. Four packs in a row. I guess we started off hot with the three out of 150s. Dominguez, Holgate, Pacheco, Cody Morissette. So four packs in a row without parallel. Let's see if we go five. Sky blue, the base parallel. Sam Bachman, Colton Kaiser, that's a good one. Fifth overall. There we go. Sleevable. Eduardo Garcia. Welvis. Roshans. McGreevy. And Kyle Manzardo. Second round, 63rd overall. That color goes nice with the Rays uniform. We have one, two, two. That one's kind of thick. Hopefully there's something in there. So five packs left. Sky Blue, Peter Hubick, Eric Pena, Jackson Wolf, Francisco Alvarez, Gavin Williams, Kellington, Sal Freelich. I like him. I think 12th or 15th overall. Francisco Alvarez, Sky Blue. All right, and another Sky Blue here. Cooper Kinney, Hendrick, Tristan Casas, Christian Hernandez, Ronald Acuna's brother, Louis Angel, Ethan Wilson, Kevin Alcantara in a Cubs uniform traded from the Yankees, Milcar Perez, Arreo, and Maddox Bruns, Sky Blue. Also goes well with the Dodgers uniform. Right. And my favorite player, my PC guy, Tyler Soderstrom. That is who my dog is named after. 
I think it's actually pronounced Soderstrom, but I call it Soder. I think it sounds better. It's definitely a better dog name. There's Henry Davis, number one overall pick. First overall. Joe Rock, Trent DeVoe, Norby, Chen, Lawler, that's what, eighth overall, Six overall? sixth overall, Jordan Lawler. His one of one autograph from Bowman Draft just sold for $80,000, which is insane. Louis Matos, JC Correa, hey, that's a good one. I like that one. Sal Freelich, Sky Blue. 15th overall. Nice looking card and a little ding down there, it looks like. It's a wooden gem. You could go up here. So you can make it up. Two packs left. We have a sky blue. Robert Crossan. Blaze Jordan, Julio Carreras, Julio Rodriguez, Jordan Walker, Denzel Clark, Grayson Rodriguez, Freddie, Noah Miller, and Gavin Williams, Sky Blue. All right, last pack. It is going to be uh, Sky Blue. So no color besides 150 in this, just Sky Blue and regular. Vanillas, Russell Smith, Bubba Chandler, Luciano, Polanco, Hassel, and ended on a good one. Nice. Colin Kaiser, Sky Blue. First edition. What did I say he was? Fifth overall, I want to say? Sounds right. We'll take a look in a sec. But outfielder for the Orioles. Yeah, fifth overall. So we got the Sal Freelich, Colin Kaiser. Jackson Merrill out of 150. Gavin Williams, Alvarez, and Zardo. Bryce Miller out of 150. Ziegler, Martinez. And we got Lawler, Henry Davis, Sal Freelich, Gowser, Lonnie White, Carson Williams. Let me know if you guys opened any or tag me in your videos. I would love to watch them. Uh, Draft is always my favorite product, so definitely collected a bunch. Going after Mazzucato a lot this year. And I do like Sal Freelich, so maybe I'm going to start collecting him a little bit more. But thank you guys for watching. Hit a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.